Welcome back everybody for another quick episode of Pokemon Violet and we're doing the gym rematches and as I started with initially, I'm going to start with the grass type leader, Barasius. Oh, he's just standing right there. Haha, <laughs> bound to God. You are Stacy No. You are the artist, Stacy God. I should have set up champion actually. That is of no consequence. Each time we recall our artistic battle, I find myself wishing to face you once again. I am so very glad that you are here. Praise Mother Nature. I had planned to meet with the top champion today. But I have just cancelled that plan. Oh, have you now? Shall we instead talk of art? No, I want a battle. <laughs> what? You came in you came in the top champion stead. Well, I cannot be bothered by that. But I don't care what the reason is. If we can make a masterpiece together once more, then fine. Well that's this you are right open wide the doors of the art world. Yes. Not pause you did earlier. Heavens God. Very well then. Let's head to my studio. The battlefield, right? Behold, Stacy, the sight of Artisan's windmill. It catches the wind that blows across Pale Dance. Slowly, it powerfully spins ever on. My leaping down of that windmill to appear before those who would challenge my gym led to add death to our battle. I see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I knew you would understand my reasoning, Stacy. <laughs> Though, I believe I can spare my legs today. Yeah, that screws up his legs. Don't ever- You know what Deadpool says, don't do superhero landings. That fucks up your knees. As we are sure to create my greatest masterpiece yet, even if I do not align from above. But, I digress. You are both artists. We are both artists, are we not? We have no further useful words now, I assume you are ready. Let our collaborative work of art begin. Again, I can live without a shot of his pants. I know Hisu and Logan. Oh wait, they, they don't exist anymore. I really want a Pokemon game that kind of takes place in the distant future. Let us ponder the arts that we will create together, Stacy. Just like we just before this game, we just had a game that takes place in the past. I'd love to have a game that takes place in the future. We need something like that. I hope Game Freak is working on that right now. Pokemon Legends. Uh, I don't know, futuristic Kyurem or something. Write it down, Game Freak. You better be listening to me. Double toxic spikes. Uh oh, that's not good. Well, off screen, I didn't show this before, but I got some new items. For like for my Beck Scalber, I got an e Ivy trained a little bit actually, since now you can hyper train Pokemon that are level 50 or higher. Good, you don't have to grind level 100 anymore. I mean, then again, Sword and Shield made it pretty easy to do that. But now, hey, you can listen. You can waste even less time doing that. It's great. Alright, you are seven levels lower than me. This will be an easy one shot. Just had to set up some toxic spikes. Okay, I didn't one shot you. But I poisoned you, it didn't matter. I essentially one shotted you. Goodbye. Alright, Zarena. Alright, you have a reflect up, right? Now nah, we can keep Rupert in. Because if I bring in my ice type, this dude is screwed. I need to make these fights last even a little bit. Trap kick. Oh yeah, okay. I think trap kick just has a chance lower attack now. It's not guaranteed lower attack anymore. Alright, the poison should handle that a little bit. Man leftovers. Use this item. What a great item. I think it was introduced in Gen 3, actually. It's quite good. Pretty sure anyone who's into competitive Pokemon knows that for a fact. Uh oh. Ah, that's a miss. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, loser, you missed. And I did also, and I will show this after this battle, but I did catch the rest of the um, futuristic Pokemon off screen, and I got the prehistoric ones through trade from those who had Scarlet. 
Over a leave. Oh yeah, maybe I should keep in grouper until the uh, light screen wears off. Your team is super weak to poison, mate. You know what, depending on how fast this goes by, I should have time actually for a second gym battle. We can go up against the Bug-type Master. Or what's our face? I, I said it before, but Katie's kind of like a... Like, design-wise, is a mix of Melanie and Glacia. But even better. An older chick that's adorable as hell. I like it. And she's in the bank, I can't get mad at that. Yes, double recovery. Now, thanks for the free grassy terrain, dude. Balloon. And since all of your Pokemon are already resistant, it's an earthquake. I don't need to use earthquake. Since I hate how they did. Visually, I really hate how they did the terrains, especially the electric terrain. It just looks like somebody pissed on the floor. Also, are you kidding me? Did you spore me? You jackass. Uh, Spore is such a frickin' dangerous move. Can't even. At least I'm basically at full HP. Alright, let's go into Crocoblaze. Crocoblaze can pretty much handle the rest of this fight. Seed bomb. Now oh, that poison's hitting you, dude. It's getting worse, I can see it. Alright, torch on. Alright, that, that light screen should have ended by now. Whether it did or not doesn't really matter. I can't, I don't remember. So your grass is one of the not so good types. This works. <laughs> the concept is a deep rooting nature of plants. I bear thorns are no easier for say, whatever you just said. Alright, you're terrestrializing the grass type. This one torch song ends you. Heck if I had another hour, I'd just do all the gyms right here and now. I do hope this work lives up to my expectations. I shall call it Truly Wudo Part 2. A truly Wudo. I like that better than just Wudo like the fan base wants it to be. Sorry, pseudo truly Wudo. And you're sturdy, that's okay, because you're poisoned and you die next turn. Except the grassy terrain might get in the way of that. I just realized, my dear grass, grow. I say, we heed my wishes and grow. Well, actually, that's heavily boosted. Did still did nothing. Now, of course, the grassy terrain's gonna heal it, but I think the poison's still gonna kill it. it oh yeah, it didn't kill it. Wow. And the grassy field disappeared. Oh, god, that looks terrible. Look, there's no animation of it even disappearing, it just vanishes. Oh, see, so you had your speed rose, and I still asked for it. Yeah, I got time for another gym battle, depending on how fast this dialogue goes by. Huh, <sighs> Vaughn's got it. Seeing you in, in the midst of battle, you are like a unique uh, gradient, simply changing hues. Rotius, and yet gentle, such contrast, I lack the words to express it, my hat goes off to you. My battles with you are truly a gift. Each time, I am made to remember how I felt so long ago when I first ventured into this world of art. Uh, <laughs> thinking emoji. Uh, well, not emoji, just thinking, screw emojis. Oh, I almost forgot. You were here for the gym inspection to the top champion state, correct? Well, that is of no consequence. Report on my gym here as you see fit. Oh, my inspiration is overflowing as if dr drawn from a bottomless well. I will begin on a new piece at once. You must excuse me, farewell.
Oh, that was all that one. Again, why is there still a Pokeball in the middle of the floor? Alright, we're gonna go after the Bug-type woman next. And then after that quick battle, we'll end things off. Now let's just heal up everybody real fast, because this game doesn't let me heal. There's my full heals. I think anyway's too low in HP to just do another battle, though. Now, where is she? She's somewhere around here, near where the Psychic-type city is, if I remember correctly. Which, I don't remember them exactly by name, I'll be real. There they are. Cotondo. Alright, where is that gym when you need it? Hey, Katie, bake me a cake. I want one. Hello there. My name is Gaddy, and I am the owner of a series of a series of Sunbury. Oh, the new champion. Everybody's talking about is is it actually you, sweetie? That's me, new champion. Yeah, she's adorable. My jeez. Cutest old woman in the Pokemon game. Older woman in any Pokemon game. Or Pokemon Media, for that matter. You're right. I guess correctly. You suppose that makes sense, though. You sure were strong. You really looked like you were enjoying yourself when you tried my sweet treats, too. People like that always have great potential. So you're here on an errand for the top champion, are you? I had, a compl uh, I had completely forgotten that she was supposed to be going around for inspections. Thankfully, I just happened to, to uh, be here today to give cake on my, to my staff. You lucky me. Very well then. This is the time for me to get a taste of our new champion strength. Yes. <laughs> oh, what fun! This. Uh, let's go somewhere more suited for battling. You know what I just realized? The voice actress for Haru in Persona Five would fit, her, would fit this character pretty well, actually. If she just made her sound slightly older. Yeah, Haru's voice actress would fit really well here. I can, I can actually see it. I wonder if anybody else sees that if you've played Persona 5. Let me know that down in the comments, whichever platform you happen to be watching this on. I remember your Hall of Rolling prowess very well, Stacy. You have such vigor. It was almost as if you had to rest those into a fighting type yourself. That makes no sense. How many gy uh, gyms have you been to when you first came here to mine? Was it your first? No. It was my third. The Cartoon Gym is close to the Academy, so many uh, young trainers just start out like... Uh, just starting out, I'd like to come here first. With that in mind, I've made my ask me to go soft on trainers, like a nice sponge cake. I feel sad for my sweet little bugs, though, since that means they're quite often losing their battles. <laughs> but opportunities like this get me excited because I can finally show my true skill. Allow me to need you into submission. And I know somebody out there really liked her saying that. I'm afraid I'm gonna need you into submission. No kicks. Yeah, I always have group error for them toxic spikes. Don't expect me to be sweet today. I don't cry when you taste bitter. I don't cry when you taste bitter defeat. Hehe, <laughs> can't sucker punch me. Alright, another toxic spikes. Alright, because you're constantly trying to go for Sucker Punch, I can just do this if I'd like. Alright, at least I should take out Low Cooks first before I get Crack Blazing here just to sweep. Ow, that did some damage. Mega Horn! How is it using. Well, I, I guess I know how it's using Mega Horn. Alright, heal up. We're good. Toxic jab. And it's not very effective. Oh, is it Sack? Well, this is some Pokemon Stadium looking stuff here. Mm. 
Level 73. Sprite Ops. Yeah, I have one on my team at one point. I had to switch it off. It just wasn't carrying the team as much as it should have. Sprite Ops, seriously, man. They were doing so well with the regional bugs in this game. Or not in this game, in previous Pokemon games. Specifically in Sun Moon and Sword and Shield. I think the Bolt and Or Beetle were awesome. And then they kind of dropped the ball at Spite Ops. Not saying I don't like Spite Ops' design, but first of all, it should be a fighting type. Why is it pure bug type? Either that or it should be bug dark. And I kind of understand why it's not bug dark, because again, that would overlap with, um... Low kicks. But it at least should have been bug fighting. Like, look at that stance. Tell me how that doesn't make it look like it's a fighting type. Secondly, it should have evolved again. Thirdly, it just, again, compared to Vigable and Orbeetle, it's just so weak. Not that I don't like Spot Ops' design, but first of all, it should evolve again. Second of all, it should have better stats. Third of all, it should have been a fighting type. Also, you're gonna have Sturdy, aren't you? Oh, well, if you explode, at least you can't hit me with it. Yeah, and you're a Steel type too, so you can't be affected by the Toxic Spikes. You're just wasting my time, Fortress. Stop cursing on screen, man. This is rude. We need some sort of regional barrier for Fortress, actually. It's just... Of all Gen 2 Mons, well, it's definitely not the Blandest one, but Siren the Death there. Eh, just something quick. Mud Slap. I don't care, I have Mud Slap this late into the game. I don't care. Mud Slap's secondary effect of Long Accuracy is broken as heck. Well, I mean, not broken. It's just, it can be annoying to go up against. Alright, Torch Song. Uh oh, you're faster than me. Alright, Stone Edge is fine. It wasn't even a crit. We're good. Alright, you have a Ursa ring of yours, right? Don't tell her that Ursa Loon is a thing, okay? And Terrestrial Bug, which is really not the best typing. Well, the universe is fighting. Perseverance is important for Bug Touch. It's time to leap towards victory. I can seriously imagine her with her voice. And I will not stop obsessing about that because I just see it everywhere. I right, come on, my plus three, you're not gonna win. I see little bear. Show me your new form of you above emerging from this cocoon. Oh, you don't have to ask me twice, I'm kidding. <laughs> And, yep, that was a boring sweep. Hates to keep me humiliating the bug types, but... Well, as new champion, I got a jab to do. Look <laughs> this face she's making. I see you emerge from your crystals and become a beautiful new you. It was quite the battle. I must say that your skill rivals out of even the Pima. Oh, oh, how sweet. It is to battle without holding back, even if I end up losing. I am be beginning to think that going too soft on- Hey, get it, too soft? Okay. Some people may be not good for either party. A culinary teacher, Mr. Kofu. Oh, really? That's an interesting piece of lore there. To tell me to put more of myself into my baking, after all. Oh geez, now that she states that, she seems a little less old now. <laughs> I think I, I may try conducting battles and more of my instead from now on. If trainers complain that the Cotender gym is suddenly more difficult, I'll just tell them that not all pictures are sweet. Goodbye for now. I hope to see you again someday. Oh, you'll be seeing more of me at some point. Mm -hmm. You're baking me so many cakes. Alright, I think I should go after Iono's gym next, but that'll be in the next episode. If I had, like, heck, if I even had another 10 minutes, I'd do that one. Alright, she's likely to start with her play bolts or something. What was he, uh. Oh, no, her Tynamo, I think. Was it Tynamo? I don't remember. Alright, so. Yeah, I think it's best to go after Iono first. I think she's supposed to be the third gym in this game. Even though I did her second. Well, the water dude, I think, is supposed to be fourth. Larry, fifth. I think the ghost chick, sixth. 
Tulip 7th, and then Grusha is supposed to be the final one. So we can do it that way. Alright, Levensa. And we can handle that next episode. I originally planned to do four gems today, but I got a little lazy. Now, let's just heal real fast. Go in front of the gym and we're saving there. I think you have to rematch the Team Star uh, people as well, according to Cerebi. Eh, we'll get to that when it comes by. Alright, where is that gym? There it is. Did you just say Ionos Cake? What? Uh, uh, okay. Alright, well, we're here, and this shall be our destination, or we're already at our destination. <laughs> this shall be our objective for the next episode. This, and then we'll go after the water type dude next after this. Anyhow, thank you everybody for watching this edition of my Pokemon Violet playthrough. If you like this and you want to see more, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and follow. So you support the channels, and if you happen to be on the YouTube, hit the bell button for more and click one of the videos you see on screen right now for even more. Thank you everybody for watching, and see you when we take on the electric type